we're already starting to see, for example, people talking about can we predict the movement of stock markets by analysing trends that are occurring in terms of what people are talking about through social media. And um, we, we can see things occur very quickly. So news now is getting out on social networks before it hits the major news websites. So we're already starting to see an acceleration of opinion. We're starting to see an acceleration of um, the way information flows through the network. And it's, but it's in an unfiltered manner. So the, the thing that happens traditionally with media is that media, traditionally speaking, has managed the flow of information through a journalistic process and so forth, sometimes with a positive effect, sometimes with a negative effect. Within social platforms like Facebook, the thing is that sentiment can occur without any editorial. And that, can, that could be positive because it's open and transparent, but it could also be manipulated. So you can have, for example, recently we saw rumours coming out that Facebook was going to shut down. You know, this is just days after they'd received half a billion dollars in uh, investment into their company, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but it didn't stop the rumour from accelerating very, very quickly. If you put an economic value or if you put sentiment out there that starts to affect the value of real world things, people's salaries, people's livelihood, then, then that's obviously a real concern. Could it be managed? Well, I, I don't think so. This is, this is one of the uh, concerns that um, you have from an economic viewpoint in terms of the, the Facebook effect, if you like, that it could have.